David Williams presents Granny Saurus, illustrated by Adam Stower. Do you love to stay up late? This is a story about a boy who never wanted to go to bed, especially when he was having a sleepover at his granny's house. Bedtime, announced Granny as she and her grandson finished their dinosaur jigsaw together. But Mom and Dad let me stay up until way past midnight fibbed the boy. <laughs> I'm not falling for that old one, Spike. It's bedtime. Not fair, he said. How come you are allowed to stay up late? Because I'm much, much older than you. I bet you're as old as this dinosaur, Granny, said Spike cheekily, pointing to the puzzle. Yes, I am granny Saurus, so you better go straight to bed. Rawr! She growled like a dinosaur. Spike sprinted up the stairs, dived into his pajamas, and leaped into bed. Granny Saurus is starving! Are any juicy little ones still wide awake? Came a voice in the dark. Arr! The boy shut his eyes and pretended to snore. <laughs> Then Spike opened one eye and spied the shadow of a dinosaur. He yanked the covers over his head and tried to sleep. However, he woke up to find his bedroom booming. Do, do, do. The whole house was pulsating with music and flashing lights. So he tiptoed down the stairs and opened the living room door. Granny was having a party, and Spike was not invited. It was a dino disco. Granny Saurus was behind the decks, spinning some banging tunes. Well, she was a Spinosaurus. Dinosaurs were moving. Dinosaurs were grooving. Still in his pajamas, Spike joined the party. He boogied with a Brontosaurus. He strutted his stuff with a Stegosaurus, and he got down with a Gigantosaurus. When Granny Saurus spotted her grandson out of bed, she stopped the music. Scratch! Oh, moaned the disappointed dinosaurs. Spike, go back to bed, ordered Granny Saurus. No, replied Spike, crossing his arms. I'm going to stay up all night and boogie. This is Dino's only disco, she replied. Bedtime. You'll have to catch me first, said Spike. With that, he raced out of the living room to find a hiding place. In the downstairs loo, there was a tetchy triceratops perusing a paper. Do you mind? On Granny's bed, there was a couple of brachiosauruses bouncing up and down. Boing, boing, hey, buzz off. And splashing about in the bath was a huge plesiosaurus. Splish, splash, splosh. How dare you? So Spike raced back to the living room. Bedtime, Bedtime shouted all the dinosaurs. Never, replied Spike, though he was feeling more than a little tired. Then just you wait until Rex arrives, warned Granny Saurus. Rex, you don't mean... Granny Saurus nodded and grinned. Boof, boof, boof. The whole house began to shake, rattle. Spike looked out of the window to see a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex lumbering down the road. Being a T-Rex, he was far too big to fit through the front door. Instead, Rex burst through the wall. Smash! Half the house fell in as dust exploded everywhere. Kaboom! Rexy! said Granny Saurus. Yes, dear, replied Rex. My naughty grandson won't go to bed. It's not fair yawned Spike. I want to stay up all night and party. 
You heard Granny Saurus. Bedtime! Rex reached down to pick up the boy. But Spike was too quick. He charged up the stairs before leaping onto Rex's head. You can't catch me now! He exclaimed. When Granny Saurus stomped up the stairs to grab him, Spike surfed down the dinosaur's back. Woohoo! Send him to bed, Rex! called out Granny Saurus. Right you are! When Spike reached the end of the dinosaur's tail, Rex flicked it. Whip! The boy was shot into the air. Ah! Spike soared high up into the night sky. Oops, muttered the T-Rex as they all watched him go. The dinosaur had flicked his tail so hard that Spike zoomed all the way around the moon. Whish! Before tumbling back to Earth. No! By a stroke of enormous good fortune, the boy crash landed straight back onto his own bed. Thump! Oof! Now go, go to, to sleep, sleep, called up all the dinosaurs. Not fancying another lap around the moon, Spike yanked the covers over his head and shut his eyes tight. In a moment, he was in a deep, deep sleep. <sighs> From that day on, Spike went to bed ridiculously early. He was determined to be fast asleep before the dinosaurs came out to play for the night. As should you. So come on now. Bedtime. The end.